In this video, we're going to be having a look at uh, building a personalized dashboard for somebody working on a service desk. So we're just going to go to the request list, and quite often a challenge is, is this long list of requests that uh, someone may have to, to work through. So the starting point for trying to simplify this list is the creation of our views. So a view is a way to define information that's displayed within this list. So here we see one for um, open uh, requests for this particular team uh, that haven't been updated over a period of time. So we see this is now filtered down to a much uh, smaller subset of, of requests. But what we can also do is um, create a visualization of these, uh, these conditions that uh, build up this particular view. And we do that by selecting the charts option. So we click on the Create Chart, and we can uh, give it a title. So here I'm going to break it down by priority. So we'll give this a title of by priority. And uh, we can uh, select from a number of different styles of charts. And I'll just use a very simple column chart. And then we select priority from the available data to make up the x-axis. And optionally, you can also give a label to your chart. Now in the creation of that, we now have a preview of the chart. We can obviously go back and make any edits at this point if we want to, to change the look of it. Now once your first chart's created, we now have an option on your toolbar to then access your personal dashboard. So here we see that chart which I just created. Now you can click on the title and this brings you back to your original uh, list of data. And uh, you can also individually drill down on any of the different sections within the chart. So drilling down on the medium priorities has now provided the list of medium requests that fulfill that particular data set. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to start by creating a, a new view from scratch. And uh, this particular view is going to be uh, different requests that have been raised over the last five months. So we simply give it a title. We add our condition, and I can select the Raised On option. And I'll select the X days for this. And for five months, I'm just going to type in 150 days. And we'll save that option. And then once saved, again, we have the option to build our chart. So I'm just going to select the Chart option, Create New Chart. And this time, I'd like to create a chart based by month. So uh, we provide the title and the chart type. I'm going to produce a, a line chart. And on the axis, I'm going to select uh, the raised on. Now as a date field, we have different options here we can select. And being a, a line chart by month, I'm going to select month for the year 2015. And we'll click on Save. And here we have our, our new chart, the preview of our new chart. And clicking on Close, and again, returning to our personal dashboard. I now have access to my chart. And here we see a peak in July, and I can click on that label and produce the list of those particular requests. Mm -hmm.